Probably need to fix your man king did here. Oh man, you know it's been what, two months since, since I did it. So you know what I mean? Since I did a video. So uh let, let, let's get it popping real quick. So um I'm gonna talk about a few things today or tonight. Uh talk about that Street Your Rage 4. I'm gonna talk about that Resident Evil 3 uh demo. Um I'm gonna talk about that that Call of Duty. There's three things I wanna talk about real quick. Um first and foremost, I'm gonna fuck Street Your Rage, man. Um you don't know what Trisha Rage is, that's because you're a young buck, you don't know what Trisha Rage is. Trisha Rage is a, a old school classic beat em up, which is my personal all time favorite beat em up, man. That shit's better than Final Fight. And yo, know, I argue with anybody to say fucking Trisha Rage ain't better than Final Fight any fucking day of the week. I'm arguing with you, man. Fucking Trisha Rage is better than fucking Final Fight. Um, it, it, it's all kinds of beat em ups out there. You know, you got Double Dragon, which is, uh, tend to be most people's fucking fave. This, this, cause you know, the classic of it. But, I don't know, something about someone such a raise, man. You can't you can beat it, man. Axel, you know, been been my fucking top dog through all three of them. Um, not gonna lie, and actually the first one I actually played with Adam. Um, Skate was cool, but the problem was with me, his his damage output was low, and it showed his damage output was low. But you know, and then you he, he lost it in, in, in the third one, still low low damage output. So I rocked out with Axel. The whole entire time. I'm definitely looking forward to this one. I'll be buying for the Nintendo Switch. That's what I'll be buying this bad boy for. Um, the reason why I want to buy it for the Switch, I don't know. It just feels like it's a Switch based game. Um, 35, I, me first, 35 is, is not bad at all for the game. Um, actually, at first, I was like, at first, I thought it was going to be just a regular DLC type game for like 20 bucks, you know what I mean? But, but, for it to coming out and it's, it's automatically 35, that, that that's telling me a lot there to come out with a collector edition, only for the um only for the PS4 and Nintendo Switch for 60. Um, supposed to come like a, this old classic um Sega Genesis box art and all that other shit. Uh, I don't really care. Um, I would, but I just don't really care about it. it it's not that deep for me. So I just rather just get the the basic 35 and, and go from there, man. Um, I know Adam coming back in the game. I know they got a brand, I, 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 I just seen a picture of the brand new guy. Don't know who it is. I gotta look at the trailer for that. Um, I know Cherry. I know Cherry gonna be in the game. I know Adam's in the game. Um, of course, of course, Axel and Blaze in the game. Axel and Blaze, they, they've been in all, all, in all of them, man. I think those are the running the mill characters that they cannot fucking replace. You know what I mean? That's like that's like comp, that's like um, Capcom coming out with Final Fight again, and not including fucking Cody or Guy in the game. Uh, Cody was only in the first one. Not he wasn't in the second one. He was guy in the fucking second one. That's why I think the second one went went big. Cause I think cause guy or or Cody was in it. Hagger was in it though. Hagger was in all three. But that's like pretty much you making like a um a final fight four and you don't have ha Cody Hagger or fucking guy in it. I feel like that game will be a waste of space. You know what I mean? So that's why I feel like without Axel or without Blaze in it, I feel like it it, it wouldn't be the same. But you know. You know what it is, man. I'm definitely looking forward to this game, man. I cannot wait. Um, Adam will be my main, my main dude. I'm, I'm not like Adam will be my main man. I I, I boast up on, on on Axel. Like I said, Adam was the one I rocked with with the first one, and then I and then I stuck and kept with playing with uh with Axel. You know what I mean? But but yeah, Adam will be my main one I'm rocking with. I'm hopefully hopefully um this game won't be no keep playing the game you know like a character type base. I don't feel like doing that, man. Um, nothing wrong with that. I, I I feel like you get more replay value and more value for your buck for you keep playing a game like that. But yeah, I like a certain fucking character. Gotta do something once just to get this character unlocked. But me personally, I just kind of hope that he's like standard mill. He's already a playable character. You know what I mean? Um, I know Sister Race Three. You do do a lot of codes to get certain people. I know um, Sister Race Three. If you don't beat up the kangaroo or just beat up his caretaker or his master. The kangaroo will actually hop onto your team. So once you die, you can be the kangaroo now. And then, I don't know. I'm going to say his name is Shiv. Don't quote me on that. But I think his name was Shiv. From, he, was, he was in actual uh, Street to Rage 2 and 3. And he was actually playable in 3. Um, I forgot what the code was to play as Shiv. But it was crazy. If, 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 if you really played with Shiv, I'm keeping on saying his name is Shiv. Because I'm like, kind of like for certain now that his name was Shiv. But if you uh, play with Shiv, you cannot pick up no weapons. It won't, let, it won't let you. I don't who who gives a shit, but he had crazy damage, damage output. He was fast as shit. I wanna say he was just as fast as fucking as um as skate. I'm gonna say he was fast as skate and he was just strong as fucking Axel, yo. So that's why I said shit was probably like the best 
like a unlockable character you can get in the game. And he actually did like hella damage. So so yeah, man. Um I I might gotta do that one day. I might have to throw back Thursday. Right like right before uh Final Fight Four come out and play Final Fight uh, excuse me, that's that Final Fight damn I've been talking about Final Fight earlier, so I'm saying Final Fight, excuse me. Um right before um Sister Race Four come out, I definitely should do a fucking a throwback Thursday of Switch Rage 1, 2, and 3. Just because those are my games. Like, I fucking love them games so much. Like, I'm, I, I'll am i be happy to fucking do them shits, go. Like, I'm telling you. Um, actually, I might do that. Because we fucking quarantine any fucking way. Everything's fucking closed. It just, it just, I might as well just fucking get the recording on, get the popping on, and then, and get with that. But yeah, man. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm definitely feeling, feeling, feeling the urge of that. And that's definitely one, that's like, my most anticipated game is that in Resident Evil. Um, cause I haven't, I haven't bought a game since January, yo. My last game I brought was Dragon Ball. So I'm looking for two games, looking for two games. So yeah, why not? Um, that's not about Resident Evil. Uh, Resident Evil 3, when I heard about Resident Evil 3 remake, I was already pumped because I felt like I had more of a bowl playing with Jill. And Claire and Leon. Now, granted, that's how long her game because you're because going back in the day, you actually had two discs for Resident Evil, and then unless you played it on sixty four, you had the cartridge weirdos. These <laughs> are fucking people. Yeah, I actually played it on both, but but yeah, man. Um, that was a longer game. Uh, Resident Evil three wasn't that as long as Resident Evil two, but so far, where I played the demo, um, what I seen from Nemesis, uh, it's just this is gonna be one hell of a game, man. Uh, most, most definitely, and then on top of that too, uh, if you don't know, um, I don't think there, there, there's any um save points in the game. Like, like I'm, I'm definitely, I'm that's what I'm gathering because I think, I think because the game is already on the um auto save system, so anytime you get into a safe room, it's gonna auto save for you. But the thing is, if you're running from Nemesis and you're thinking, hey, here's a here's a safe room, this is how I play Resident Evil Two. I'm going to try to fucking hide from Tyrant. I could do the same thing with Nemesis. Just run and hide from his ass. And he'll, he'll walk his ass away from me. Oh, no. If if Nemesis see you. And he see you running through that fucking room. Oh, his ass is busting through that fucking room. There ain't no more safe rooms in this fucking game, yo. That's what I'm talking about. That's that fucking creepy shit I'm talking about, yo. That's what I'm looking for and more excited and pumped about. You know what I mean? Like, Nemesis don't give a fuck. He's going to be busting in the fucking room. I already said that he was better than the fucking Tyrant any fucking way. People say, oh, Mr. Or Tyrant or Mr. X, whatever you want to call him. They were like, oh, he was the fucking, he was a man. His ass was creepy as shit. Nah, fuck that. Nemesis was a fucking beast. His ass would appear with a rocket launcher. He would appear with a Gatling gun. His ass would fucking actually run and chase you down. Man, Tyrant would just fucking walk and fucking Terminator fucking X punch your ass. That's what the fuck he did. He just turned to Terminator and just, just whooped your ass. Nah, 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 fucking Nemesis is going to do some fucking crazy ass off the wall shit. That's why I always had fun with goddamn Resident Evil 3. Because I feel like Nemesis was a more of a dangerous fucking villain. So off the whole entire game, man, he put he put fear in your heart. I understand tired of the same thing, but it was it was something about it was something about fucking Nemesis that that was just no joke, man. And I'm and I'm definitely looking forward to this show. Also, too, I think they got some um the other beta on it too. I didn't even download that beta because I. Don't care if I'm not gonna play it. Um, I might give it a shot when the game do come out. Uh, maybe I, I should download it just to give it a shot, see how it is. But for the most part, I really don't care about it. Um, I'm mostly just just want to play Resident Evil story mode and go from there, man. Because, cause yeah, um, because my game last year was actually Resident Evil Two. I'm I actually love Resident Evil Two so fucking much that I played beat beat Leon shit three times, played and beat Claire shit three times. So yeah. Um, that's how much I played the shit out of fucking, um, that Resident Evil 2. In fact, for I did the same thing with Resident Evil 7 too. I played and beat Resident Evil 7 so much that it, it, it wasn't even funny no more. So, so, so yeah, um, that's what that is. And let's talk about Call of Duty. Um, so Warzone, what, dropped out, what, like last week? Last week or so, maybe two weeks ago? Um, no, it was last week, because, uh, that was P was just fucking the, the previous previous week ago. So yeah, so like so it's been out for roughly a little bit more over a little bit over than a week. Um, I just I don't know. I I don't really care for the battle royale scene, and 
Maybe that's just me being with the person that I am. I just don't care about it. You know what I mean? I'm the type of person, I, if I, I don't want to die and then not come back. Um, for one, that was that was the thing for me with fucking Gears of War. You know what I mean? But, um, it, it's not like I'm playing Gears of War again. This is, this is, this is, and, and, and my people are like, what are you talking about? Because back in the damn day, if you was a Gears of War fan, if you played Execution of Warzone, if you die, you had to wait to the next fucking round. And if I'm not mistaken, this is what Call of Duty is doing like Fortnite, right? If you die, you gotta wait. You gotta wait till you know the the game around is over. I'm I don't want to wait that long. You feel me? I I just fucking don't. Um, that's that's one of the things I'm like I'm I'm past that. You know what I mean? Like I said back in the day, I was I was cool with that. If, if, if this is back in the the. The 360 era. This is not the 360 era. I, I, I don't see the need of it. Um, it might be fun. I don't know. Um, listen, Fortnite didn't look good to me at all. So that's why I ain't played Fortnite. Me personally, between the silly ass dances and all the other bullshit. I let the kids had that. It was too much. It was just too much with it, I think. With the, the whole dumb cartoon look. The whole building fucking walls. You're building the whole fucking motel to fucking not, not get killed. And you had to run. I just, I just wasn't a fan how it looked. Um... I know I try to play with the other one. What's the, what, what? I don't know the other game right now because it's not going to come to me. Uh, Apex Legends. I try. I tried that too, and I wasn't really feeling Apex Legends. So that's why I'm saying I know for a fact I wouldn't really care for Warzone. Um, anything else? I, I, I've been fucking with. Um, Call of Duty has been. This has been, honestly, my favorite Call of Duty since Modern Warfare Two, and that's and that's saying a lot to me. That's saying a lot for anybody. This is how much I've been playing. Modern Warfare. I play. I'm playing so much of Modern Warfare. It's just. It's just trifling. Um, this is. This is the first time I actually. I can actually say this is. This has been the most fun I have played with Call of Duty in fucking years, though. Since I'm. I'm. I'm just gonna say it. Since prior says fucking Black Ops Two and Ghost and Ghost Era. Yeah, and people hated Ghost. Go. Excuse me. Ghost is. I. I do it every damn time because it really is the ass behind the fucking goddamn title. But everybody just call it Ghost because it sounds better. But. But yeah. Um. That was the last good one to me. People hated Ghost. I think because they hated what it was becoming. Again, can't fess. People didn't want to deal with that. Also, too, I think problem with Ghost was the kill streak didn't really do its job. It wasn't killing nobody. It was. It was. It was. It was a mess. It really was. It when it came down, you they had kill streaks and they wasn't dying by the kill streaks. That's that's the only issue that I really had with that. But other than that, that was to me was the last fucking great good one. And then. And the rest of this was just mediocre. I didn't care for Advanced Warfare or any other one what they had out there. I didn't care for none of the fucking Black Ops like that. For the last one, the last one was actually decent. I'm not gonna lie. I think Black Ops Four was cool. I'm not even mad at Black Ops Four. I actually thought that that shit was actually decent because I did play that un enough and often. So, so, so yeah, but um, nothing right now is 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 is, is going to beat this brand new Modern Warfare unless they come up with the unless the remake is, is really there's the rumors really real. About Modern Warfare 2 coming out, um, remake, then yeah, then, then that's probably, but then again, I, I don't know, I'm so, I'm so in tune, and I'm still, I still probably, I'm still gonna buy and play the remaster of Modern Warfare 2, but I don't think it's gonna, use, I, don't, I don't know, I think Modern Warfare has my attention so much that that's all I've been playing, really, um, I'm talking about, that's really all I've been playing, uh, so, so yeah, um, I'm, Thoroughly enjoying it. I don't like. I said I probably won't even touch. I probably won't even touch fucking Warzone. I think they have too many, and that's the only problem I have with Modern Warfare right now. I think they have too many modes in the game that are like other games because you have uh Ground War, which I swear is nothing but Battlefield, and then then you got fucking Warzone, which is nothing but this their fucking take a fucking Fortnite. So you know what I mean? Like I don't know. I just don't care about it. Um. I'm I'm I might want to play this like I don't play ground war because I feel like there's nothing but fucking battle I feel like it's nothing but battlefield this Call of Duty style so so yeah um that's two, that's just like two modes I just don't give a fuck about me personally I stick with my same old bullshit I will play, I will fucking play with my team that's match my domination and, and and call it a fucking day man um but yeah um Street your rage look out for that for me playing that I might even, I might even fuck with just a couple of videos from Street your rage and um. And yeah, man, and then and then and, you know, get fucking run able. Most definitely looking forward to that. 
Gotta get it for the PS4 for anybody ever ask. I gotta get it for PS4. Resident Evil 4 is a P is a PlayStation exclusive to me. To my heart, that will always be a PlayStation game first because that's what I played them all on. All right, except for fucking Resident Evil fucking four, five, six, and seven. I those I I started playing on on three sixty. You know, I I did play, I did play four on the PS two though, but I'm getting buying it again. And playing it on the fucking goddamn week, but I ain't that's neither here nor there right now. But but yeah, so so yeah, Resident Evil will always be a place exclusive game to me in my heart. I feel like it, it belongs on PlayStation. I believe that's a PlayStation game, so so that's what that is. Now, hopefully, you know, I hopefully they don't do that again with the the PS5. I hope they don't make it a PS5 exclusive when, when the new Resident Evil come out. Hope to god they don't. Just that, I'm just gonna leave it like that and say that, but yeah. Um, also too, um, let me get a uh, shout out to all my tipsy, man. You know what? It's been two months. I ain't say nothing to you, man. Um, I, I haven't really been on YouTube to really want to give nobody shout out to cop and no say nothing back to you. But yeah, I seen your comment, man. Give a shout out to you, man. Long top subscriber, man. R respect to that. You know what I mean? I get shout outs to shout out what need to be done, yo. You know what I mean? My, my man still get a shout out. So all right, yo, it's your man, King Day. One.